Animals are truly incredible. Every morning, a bald eagle visits his best friend, a cat. However, one day, something unexpected happens. When Annie heard a loud noise at her door, followed by the eagle's distinctive call, she hurried outside, anxious about her outdoor rescue cat. This rural home was surrounded by wildlife, and Annie always fretted over the safety of her cats due to past experiences. She had once lost a dog in a similar manner. Annie's small rural town had only one grocery store and a doctor, lacking amenities like a vet, dry cleaner, or dentist. As a copywriter with the flexibility to work from anywhere, Annie had chosen to live in a cozy cabin nestled in the woods. This serene setting was her sanctuary, offering tranquil views of the forest from her porch, yet residing here also meant embracing certain risks. At the grocery store, an elderly woman entered with a basket in her hands. Spotting Annie, she made her way over. Annie had grown up in her village. Her parents had passed down their cabin to her, making her a true local known by everyone. They knew her as someone with a kind heart who adored animals. Aware that there were no vets nearby, she had taken a few online vet courses to learn how to care for her own animals. This knowledge came after she lost a dog to an eagle attack due to the lack of veterinary care in the area. As the elderly woman approached, she opened her basket, revealing two of the tiniest kittens Annie had ever seen. Their mother had been lost to a fox, leaving these two kittens orphaned. The woman cherished her own cat, now lost, but lacked the energy to care for two newborn kittens. Hand-feeding them every few hours and providing the attention they needed would be a demanding task. Despite this, she wanted the kittens to have a chance at a good life, and Annie immediately came to mind as someone who could help. Annie initially hesitated, fearing attachment and the uncertainty of their survival. Yet, when the black and white kitten yawned, melting her resolve, she knew she had to try despite the emotional risk. Gathering supplies like milk substitute and a baby bottle, she committed to feeding them every two hours. It was exhausting, but she carried them in her jacket pouch all day, close to her heart, keeping them calm and cozy. As they grew, their fluffy forms and open eyes amazed her. At about four weeks old, she finally decided to name them. Until then, she refrained out of fear of losing them. Now, seeing them eat solid food and play happily, she was determined to keep them. She named the black and white kitten Panda and the other Lucky, hoping they would thrive under her care. After that, they grew stronger quickly. The two kittens were so happy and confident, always eager to explore. Annie was worried about them playing outside because of the dangers, but they wouldn't listen. Every chance they got, they tried to slip out of open windows or scratch through screens if a door was open. It was a constant battle between Annie and the cats. Eventually, Annie compromised by taking them outside for short periods, keeping a close watch. Surprisingly, the kittens didn't wander far. They would nap on the porch in the sun and play in the grass just behind the house before returning indoors. Over time, Annie learned to trust that they wouldn't stray too far. She still kept an eye on them while they played outside, but didn't need to constantly supervise them anymore. One day, an unexpected event unfolded. Annie was immersed in her work with Lucky on her lap while Panda played outside. Suddenly, a chilling sound pierced the air, a distinctive eagle call. In their area, bald eagles were common, and Annie's heart raced with fear. A bald eagle could easily snatch Panda and carry her away. Annie hastily placed Lucky on the chair and rushed towards the door, but paused just before stepping out. There on the porch railing was Panda, calmly seated next to a young bald eagle. This eagle was still covered in fluffy feathers, not yet fully mature. It appeared to be practicing flying, but it was unable to venture far. In that moment, Panda could have posed a threat to the eagle, but she didn't. Instead, she relaxed beside him. At one point, she even moved closer, and the eagle nestled up to her. It was a remarkable sight. Annie kept a vigilant eye on the sky, wary that the eagle's parents might appear, but the serene blue sky held no signs of concern. Annie debated whether to intervene, but Panda seemed to have everything under control. She jumped down next to her food and water bowls, where there was still some food left. It was as if she was offering it to the eagle. The eagle hopped off the railing and drank from the bowl for nearly an hour. Throughout this time, Panda and the eagle remained peaceful. Even when Lucky joined them in the sun, the eagle showed no signs of fear. Lucky, on the other hand, barely acknowledged the eagle's presence. It was Panda who interacted with him the most. After resting, the young eagle began to flap its wings, signaling its readiness to depart. It struggled briefly to take off, but eventually soared away. 
Annie was awestruck by the entire experience, unable to believe she had witnessed such a rare and extraordinary event. Annie thought the previous day's encounter was a once-in-a-lifetime event, yet to her surprise, the very next day, the eagle returned. As soon as Panda spotted him on the porch, she eagerly ventured out to join him. Despite the eagle growing bigger and stronger over time, he maintained a close bond with Panda. Each day, without fail, he would visit, and remarkably, he never displayed any signs of aggression. It was truly a remarkable sight to witness their enduring friendship unfold. Soon, an even stranger event unfolded. Panda was unusually insistent, moaning at Annie's feet and refusing to be picked up. This was odd because Lucky was typically the more vocal and cuddly one. Instead of being held, Panda seemed to want Annie to follow her. Intrigued and concerned, Annie got up and followed the cat outside. For the first time, Panda dashed off the porch and headed into the woods. Annie hurried after her, intent on stopping her from going too far. But soon, she realized Panda was leading her somewhere specific. Panda stopped in front of a tree, where a bald eagle was caught in the low branches. Its wings were entangled and appeared injured. Annie immediately recognized the eagle as Panda's friend, and she knew she needed to help. She quickly retrieved a blanket, gloves, and a stepladder. Climbing up, she carefully wrapped the blanket around the distressed eagle and gently freed his wing. Once the eagle was free, Annie carried him back to the house. There, she bandaged his wing and placed him in a large crate with fresh meat and water to rest and recover. She knew his wing would need time to heal before he could be released. Furthermore, the eagle was accustomed to her presence, which helped keep him calm as she tended to his injury. After ensuring the eagle was comfortable, Annie stepped outside to check on Panda and Lucky, making sure they were still close by and safe. What she saw shocked her. The two cats were on the porch, but so was Panda's eagle friend, this meant that the injured eagle she had cared for was a different bird. Despite the potential danger, the injured eagle had allowed her to help him, understanding she meant no harm. Annie continued to care for the injured eagle until his wing healed. During this time, the cats were constantly in and out of the house, and the eagle grew accustomed to their presence. Each morning, Annie placed the eagle's cage outside so he could see the other animals, including Panda's eagle friend, who visited regularly. When the injured bird was strong enough, it was time to release him. Annie placed the crate on the porch and slowly opened the door. The eagle stepped out, spread his massive wings, flapped them a few times, and then soared into the sky. The sight was so majestic that it brought tears to Annie's eyes. The next morning, she was surprised to see both eagles arriving for their morning visit. It was an amazing sight. Panda and the first eagle, best friends, cuddled as usual, while the second eagle joined in making mornings a special time for all of them. The eagles visited regularly, creating a peaceful routine. One day, however, something happened that disturbed this peace. Annie looked outside and saw the two cats and two eagles peacefully napping in the sun. Panda and her eagle friend were sitting close together, cuddling. Satisfied, Annie went inside to work. About an hour later, she heard screams from the eagles and loud noises from the cats. Rushing to the window, Annie saw one of the eagles swooping down, seemingly attacking something near the forest's edge. Fear gripped her, had the eagles turned against the cats. She grabbed the first weapon she could find, an umbrella, and rushed outside. But as she approached, she saw the cats sitting calmly in the doorway. The eagles weren't attacking them, they were trying to chase something else away. Annie noticed a young red fox hiding under the bushes, with the eagle still attacking it. It seemed the eagles were trying to protect their cat friends. The little fox kept hiding its face in the deep grass, looking scared and alone rather than predatory. Knowing the eagles wouldn't harm her, Annie chased them off and moved closer to the bushes to get a better look at the fox. The fox was barely more than a baby and had a terrible wound on its side, likely caused by the antlers of a moose or deer. The wound was deep and the fox looked terrified. Though she knew a red fox could potentially harm her cats, Annie couldn't leave the injured animal in pain. She retrieved the large crate and a blanket, wrapped the fox in it, and took him back to the house. She gave him a sedative to make him sleep, then carefully cleaned and stitched up his wound, hoping no major organs were affected. Determined to give the fox the best chance at recovery, Annie tended to him with the same care she had shown the eagles. She kept the fox for a while, and he got much sicker before he began to recover. The poor fox developed a fever, and Annie stayed with him all night, sponging him down and nursing him back to health. It was a frightening experience. The cat stayed with her the entire night, and at one point, 
Panda even curled up next to the fox to comfort him. Panda was a caring little cat, always looking after the other creatures she encountered. Other animals seemed to respond to the positive energy she projected. By morning, the fox showed signs of improvement, though he was still quite weak. He slept for hours in the crate, and then Annie fed him just as she had fed the eagles. Each morning, she placed the crate outside when the eagles came for their daily visit. Her intentions were for the animals to get used to each other. She didn't plan on keeping the fox, but she hoped that if they ever interacted in the wild, they might leave each other alone. More importantly, she hoped the wild animals would leave her cats alone if they ever met again. Annie looked after the fox for weeks until his wound healed completely. Once he was healthy, she took him deep into the forest and released him, hoping he would live a good life. With the fox gone, her household returned to its normal routine. The eagles continued their daily visits, and the two cats enjoyed their lives as pampered pets. One morning during the usual visits from the eagles, Annie received yet another surprise. When she looked outside, she saw not only the eagles and the cats on the porch, but also a red fox. They were all peacefully coexisting, relaxed and at ease, creating a heartwarming scene. Throughout her life, Panda would bring home various injured and stray animals, and together, Annie and her cat managed to rescue many. They formed an effective team, driven by kindness. It was this shared compassion that allowed them to witness such special and magical moments. Have you ever considered caring for newborn animals? Share your thoughts in the comments below. And thank you for tuning in. And please stay with us for more amazing stories.